Hi everyone. Okay, welcome to my channel. Um, this is going to be a different video. A lot of people do not know things about me. So, I am a licensed motorcyclist. What? Yes. Okay, um, I do not own a bike yet. I have been looking for the perfect one, but I do ride my friend's bike around like a lot. I love riding. Um, ever since I took my classes and got my license, I honestly hate being inside of a four-door vehicle, two-door vehicle, any kind of vehicle, inside of a box. I feel trapped. I can't do it. I do not like it. Um, so anyways, I took my classes, um, in Marietta at the Honda, Honda place up here. And it was a three-day class. Um, I took it with the Motorcycle Safety Foundation. This is the book we had. We had to do the same front through back. Y'all, we had to be there at 7 a.m. in the morning. I didn't think we leave. I don't think we left until, like, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., somewhere around there, baby. It was late, and I was, ooh, I was tired after that day. And, okay, so, basically, I'm just coming at you to let you know um, that I'm a biker and things about um, the class and whatnot, because I haven't got my Kawasaki ZX6R yet, and yes, baby, that is the one I want, I don't want that green and black color, though, I want a different color, but that is the one I want, um, I'm still on the hunt for it, um, I have purchased my helmet, okay, so before we talk about this helmet and everything, this is a speed and strength helmet, listen, I already know that when you buy a helmet, think of it as, like, insurance on your life, Okay, so do you want to buy cheap insurance on your life or, you know, do you want to purchase something, you know, better that you trust? I'm not saying this, this company doesn't make quality helmets. I'm just saying that I only purchased this helmet for the reasons of going to the class and, you know, being in that environment and having my own helmet because I don't trust people's germs. But you get what I'm saying. So, this is not going to be my helmet that I'm riding with on my Kawasaki ZX-6R. Plus, it's, it's got pink on it. I like pink, but maybe I want to be all blacked out. But anyway, so this is not the helmet that I want because it was a little on the cheap side. But I am going to purchase. Oh, I think I want. Was it called a show? I don't know, but that thing was nice. I think that was the name of it. And my glove, I got the Icon gloves. Um, I am going to probably get me some more gloves, but... These are just the gloves I have right now. And I bought my suit, my um boots. I forget the name of who I bought these boots for. It's on here. Yeah, it's on here. Um, you know, these are just my first suits that I purchased with mine. Yeah. So pretty much just all I wanted to let you all know is um pretty much what happened at the class and my experience of, you know, writing and being a female writer. Um so far. This class, let's talk about this class really quick. I'm not trying to make the video too long. So this class, I fell in love with it. I think I paid about two hundred and sixty dollars. If that, it was either two sixty or one sixty, but I'm thinking more on the two sixty side. So anyway, um, it was about eleven people in my class. They split it up into groups. Um, when you first get out there, of course you're gonna be in there for a long time in the room doing this book, learning about you know the basis of the bike, like the gears. You know, the gears and the clutch and the ignition and start, you know, every single piece of the bike you need to know. Like, you need to familiarize yourself with the bike because a lot of people, you know, they don't know what anything is on a bike. So, familiarize yourself inside the classroom with that. I mean, they're, you're going to be forced to do it anyways if you take the class. I would advise people to take the class because it allows you to, you just like um when you got your driver's license permit and you read the book. A lot of people didn't read the book. So... It's just like what you were supposed to do, read the book. So, a.k.a. baby, it's a motorcycle, not a car. You know, it's less forgiving. Read this. Learn this. And if somebody's teaching you at home, you know, I'm not saying you can't learn from your friend how to ride a motorcycle. Read one of these, though. Just because you need to know, you know, the simple things, the basic principles and things you need to know so you'll save your life out here. Now, um... Your first day, they put show behind. I was going to say black behind, but, you know, everybody's not black. Let me stop. <laughs> they put show behind on the bike. They're not playing. So, you know, you, you get on the bike. Well, you get to choose which one you want, like a Rebel or I had a, a CBR 250 or something. I don't even remember. Whatever CBR I had, it was red and I had that. And um, the Honda CBR, they want you to get 
get you know they have different bikes in there to choose out of they want you to get a bike that you're you know that one that you're going to purchase in the in the future so if you're going to get a street bike or you know um or a rebel or something like that and if people don't know what i'm talking about like a rebel think of a harley you know yeah or look it up anyways i was looking more into a kawasaki zx6r so of course i got the honda cbr um yeah so they're going to teach you the whole basics and everything. And then you're going to go through a whole little training exercise where you're just going to be doing stuff all dang on day. You're going to be throwing, twisting, stopping, breaking. Woo! It's going to be a lot. But it's worth it because it's things you're going to have to do out here in this real world. The reason I'm pointing right at my window right now. That's why. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, any comments on that, um, if anyone... I'm really starting this video to see if there are anybody out there that's interested in me doing blogs when I get my bike about um, life as a biker and living in Atlanta. Well, Kennesaw, but Atlanta because that's mostly where I be at. So living there and if there's anyone in Kennesaw State or anyone in Kennesaw, anyone near me that freaking rides bikes, any chicks or anybody like that, y'all please hit me up. Send me a message so we can get together, we can talk and share some insight so I can get some insight too. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching my video, y'all. Please subscribe, comment below, and tell me what you think. And I also want to start doing blogs and videos when I get my bike with the GoPro. So please, y'all, let me know what you think. Thanks.